even though she seems like insurmountable when she's in control, that low key kind of combo food. That's a tall woman right there. That's a lot of room to hit. We'll see how Dre handles it as he tries to pilot his way through losers finals and get his run back against extra O. Or Pong is really going to go the distance and go from losers round one to grands. And right now, this is going to be the most difficult part of the matchup, but Pong so equipped and ready to go through those two frames that he just throws out a down tilt and he's like, nah, I'm going to pilot on top of you. I got you. I think it's smart. I think it's really smart. The problem is, is that there's only so many ways that Dre is going to be able to mix up his recovery. I think he's going to have to get pretty aggro as the set goes on. Just try to swing through everything that doesn't have a shield. But not with that! He cannot afford to go for oh a punishable God. reversal like that. And he dodges into it, but that hitbox is so active that he still gets hit by it. I love the mindset that Pong is going for right now. Trying to go all the way out there before we see the power dunk. And he has to it out so he can shield the... That's great. For those who are, aren't aware, Buster Wolf is what's considered a a command hit. It's yep. not a grab. It's treated as a grab, but you need to land the hit first, so you can't just grab off of shield. Yep. So being able to get yourself back to the ground and shield is such a smart decision when yep. you're trying to just get out of the end of a chain, especially while the super meter is filled for Terry. And right now, I love that Joey right now is like playing really patiently. Like he's like, okay, even though I'm a stock down, I'm still at zero percent. I have no incentive to approach right now. He's just waiting for Pong to maybe just like slip up with his approach. But Pong is just doing like a fantastic job of building up the percent really, really slowly. Joey trying to catch a dash and perhaps a roll with those neutral eggs. So safe just to do them retreating like that. Good catch. Look at that perfectly spaced up B just to make sure he's not going to get hit with that two frames so easily. But that is going to be the jab. Jab powder once again, closing off the stock. The damage is going to climb so heavily once Dre is in control. Yep. So I, I'm really curious to see how well he's able to lock down Polytunnel. One thing we don't really often talk about is the fact that a lot of her movement options, they let her be squirrely. She is naturally able to peel away and then go back to zoning as needed. Yeah, like she has such a good reactionary kit, but she could camp if she needs to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and he, you know, Pong. I would really like to see Pong maybe mix up his ledge trapping just a little bit because I'm seeing him commit to down tilt, down tilt, down tilt. Maybe not even mixing up his rhythm on it either. That is so bizarre to me. I have <laughs> never seen explosive flame fizz out on a stage like that before. Yeah, that's a weird one. I guess the game decided for it to not work. Huh. And either of these players could die right now if Joy Charles gets knocked off stage. That's over. What a beautiful reaction to the explosive flame. So ready for it, despite the audio cue not even coming out. That patience, but... Man, it manages to kill as well. I think for the first time in a long time, I'm hearing the crowd cheer Pauly Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just occurring to me, like... Polly actually has like a, a lot of ways to present counterplay to Power Wave. Mm -hmm. Like at full distance, you can go for the reflector where the power where you will travel faster than Terry will have options on the ground. Yep. And if he's at distance where he's not gonna get hit, he might still be able to auto radical. And even at that, Dash Attack seems to be doing just fine just for getting through. To say nothing of jumping over it. Yep. And right now, I really love Kong's patient play. He's with punishing Dre Turtle so much. He is just able to, like, call him out on his air dodges back to the ground. Like, man, like, this is very tough for Terry in general, but Dre definitely has to mix up, like, his approach and defensive options right now. Oh, you're crazy! Oh, my God. Uh, my mind dies for it, but he went to the deepest of depth to try and steal that stock out of him. Yep. That's going to be the back here. Oof. That's going to be the stock, and that's going to be the game. And because but, this is losers finals, we're going to see this go to a game three. Man, there's like, this seems so tough. Like, like, getting back to stage, winning a single neutral interaction, even like approaching and getting a kill on Palutena without like having to wait for you, just pong to outright mess up. Um, that stuff is nerve wracking. But Dre, looking completely unfazed, his composure intact. He knows what he wants, and he's going to fight for it. And I would not be surprised if we do actually see the character switch. I'm really curious to see it as well, just because Dre is very aware of what Palutena brings to the table. He is studying the game intensively. He knows that there is counterplay to the character, and he knows that his wide array of characters 
give him those options. But to go into purely Terry, I feel like he leaves himself vulnerable to the, that juggle state. A lot of where we saw Pong really start to flush out his advantage and really figure out how to abuse Terry was when he started to pop him into the air and then figure, hey, I don't have to just chase with a Nair. Yeah. I can get up there. I can harass with back air. I can retreat if I need to. Reset neutral. Take back the stage as necessary. With the change of pace going to uh, Battlefield, is the scenery, I feel like it's going to give more landing options to Dre, but it's still all the same problems are still present if yeah. Pong manages to control the stage. And, you know, and just as easily as, like, you know, you'd be able to get more approach options, look at all of these different, like, platform extension opportunities you have with Palutena, and she's able to just as platform camp here on Battlefield as she would on, like, PS2 or whatever. Um, right now, Joey Charles is just, like, struggling to get anything started. You see him winning a couple of neutral interactions here and there with, like, uh, with a hit, but not much more than that. Again, I just think <laughs> these upbees are so interesting to me. <laughs> it's a very nice way of saying that his, his upbees in a bad. Like, for everything that Terry brings to the, the table, like, a true arsenal of options. Yeah. When it comes to the more defensive play, it doesn't really matter how smart you are, but the character's easy to juggle and the character's easy to exploit when there's no ground beneath his feet. What can he do? He's just taking 45 and he has to hold it. Oh, trying to get a drag down up and into a grab. You saw him, but he was unfortunately facing the wrong way. But I love the intent from Pong, nonetheless. Just going for a dash attack, not killing quite yet, committing oh. to an up B. If he went for the back air instantly, I think he would have been able to go for it. Mm -hmm. All right. But Pong being able to threaten space like that is something very dangerous. And hey, just like I was bringing up. Auto Radical like, keeps in range, still out of the far shot of Power Wave. And just like punishes him into lag for Power Wave. Like, that's honestly something that Dre has to find an answer for. Um, because like, you don't, like, as you described before, like, Power Wave would be the peel that he uses to actually like get in on a lot of projectiles, but he's just unable to find that in this game. Mm, I don't think he has any kill throw. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, at the ledge, he gets kill with forward throw, I believe it is. Um, he had the lead on the goal out of shield, but the dash grab not connecting. Pong able to shield in time, and Dre spot dodging afterwards, but the F-tilt so active. Okay. We're just going to kill from out, out deep, I see. Okay. And you just see, like, Pong. Oh, my God, Pong. Catching him in the power. <laughs> what a download. What a download. Like, we still have... We still have plenty of room in this set, but it just seems so grim for Dre. At least when he stays on Terry, just because Pong seems to be getting a better idea as time goes on about what he could really abuse. And Almost that would have been the stock, and I'm so surprised that, that the non-connect. That would have been sick. That would have brought it to completely even beautiful spot dodge pun uh, spot dodge into a punish. That is going to be a power dunk and the stock. Dre only at 1.4%. This is absolutely within the realm of possibility. Beautiful call out on the jump with the neutral air. Already dealing 28%, making sure not to get too framed. This is going to get too framed regardless. He does not have a jump off stage. Oh, you're crazy. <sighs> he is, he's absolutely crazy. Yo, Dre really came, really came for everything in Pong's life. He really came for his whole existence in that one. He didn't have to. He got down like a ledge and back. He'll get a little No! My son was trying to two frame down it. Oh my god, he is so far off stage. Pong not committing to a back of any off stage option, just going through the up smash, which I don't even believe would have killed in the first place. Beautiful spacing and timing of it just to make sure to stall out the down tilt. Alright, the damage is climbing. Power Geyser's got a lot of value here at the ledge, but one thing that we've seen Dre struggle with is like locking down Pong, even though Power Geyser's gonna cover any jump option. That's yeah. just that's just how that's gonna go. Oh, oh my god, what a enough. call out. And this is so scary for Punk right now because he He tried calling out a jump! But Pong oh knew! Pong that... caught on so quick and now the score is 2 0. Oh, this is potential tournament stock on Dre's half. He might be dying here at third. Wait, here. why did I think he was game three? I'm mistaken. Man, I don't blame you in the house of 3,000. In the house of 3,000. It's seen... normally best of three. But tonight, best of five. Hell Remember, we, it's Saturday. It's we don't Saturday. got work tomorrow. We don't, we don't have work tomorrow. tomorrow. Yep. Um, We're chilling. Look at him deep in thought. He is thinking. Deep he is, thinkums. He is deep smooth. thinkums. He, he is wrinkling his brain right now. He is taking He is taking every single spot that he sees that is not creased or folded yet. And he said, that's it. That's it. It's every time. brain cell is at the ready. The ships have been manned. 
Dre, Dre dies here or he lives to see a sick reverse 3-0. <laughs> that's, that's how this is going to go. Oh my god, and I love Punk's positioning. They were just so ready to call out the directional air dodge. He didn't have to move an inch. He was just ready to grab. And he, he grabbed the ledge. I'm surprised we didn't see a down or something like that from Punk. Regardless, sitting at 0%, Dre trying to get something started with the forward air, not able to find anything quite yet. The rising tackle not connecting on Punk either. See, that's why I didn't like the Battlefield pick from, mm -hmm. from Dre, because even though he himself needs more landing options, Palutena is swift enough to be able to like take so much further advantage of those. And I love the jump at the back air, trying to call it out, but Dre's patience oh my God. And rewarding him so heavily as he takes the first stock. Yeah. Just wait. Okay. I like it. Yep. All those. Look at him go active. He, like, stage control is pretty neutral, but Pong is starting to be assertive with just spacing those back hits. And, of course, abusing the auto turnaround mechanic. So, so good. Look at... Oh, you're crazy. He's, he's, he's a lunatic. I would like to see him go for the jab. Okay. The jabber he said into something? You were close! He was, he was definitely... <gasps> he almost called out the ledge cancel! Uh, win or lose, he would have been a king if he got it. He's a king regardless. Oh my god, Dre, I just love you. <gasps> Missing a down tilt into Power Geyser. Finding way to back onto stage. That's going to be the down tilt two frame into the forward air. When you're at such a high place, he doesn't even have to try with like the like a guard back air. He can just go to the forward air. He's dead. Beautiful Power Dunk. But that was from center stage. That's not threatening kill. That's one thing I also want to bring up is that Pong has been doing a really good job of trying to hold these stocks as best as he can, even as Drake just blasts him away with damage. Yeah. That's been really consistent. Oh, that's going to be neutral, but the battlefield platform coming in so coming like in such clutch. <laughs> just he's just able to like get the attack off there. That was such a good shorten on the explosive flame too to threaten that space. Mm -hmm. And he just couldn't pressure it at all. He was not in the range to go in with a falling area from the platform because he's like such a big body. Notice he have that area mobility. But right now, Dre Charles sitting at a stock lead, I believe, for the first time in the entire set. Oh let's, my god, Dre. Let's see if he can really make it count, though. He's got to run away with this lead. Mm -hmm. Love the commitment from Pong. You know, like such a good move if he, if he saw that Dre didn't um, jump out of shield, he just would have faded back really safely. Oh, that shield looking like it's hurting. I'm loving the use of the auto reticle. Oh, that's a very bad position to be in, but excellent spacing on the recovery once again from Dre. Well, I don't really. S I think Pong maybe tried to parry the power wave there because he like he saw it and then he just dropped the shield in front of him. I think what Pong hasn't realized, or just good changes on the fly from Dre, is that there are two speeds to the power wave. Mm, so utilizing that slow one is great for throwing up oh momentum. Oh my god! And that is the jab jab power guys. Okay. All Menacing. right. We don't even get like a KO screen, you just like, a, oh, that's yeah, it, no. and it's done. It might have been poor DI, it might have just been getting cooked. Either way, the 3 0 is prevented, and Dre makes the yep. count 2 1. Although it's still Pong's favor, and now on his counter pick call for the next two potential two games. Yep. Um, Dre, once again, <laughs> I just love his thinking face. He's just so deep in thought. Um, he is adapting like a madman. And, but I feel like the inconsistency of his play could just be like the reliance on so many like 50-50s on the shield pressure. That is like where you see him getting most of his damage. That is where you just see him like, like, I don't know, like maximize his kills. And that is like such an inconsistent thing. It, it can be a genuine coin flip at times. If Indeed. both players are aware of the situation. The pick is going to be hovering Lilat. A very bold choice for a Palutena. Now, I will say this. When, uh, with a stage like Yoshi's and Lilat, it is so much easier to get a two frame uh, because of the slants. They really help Wolf out, especially. Um, so that's not going to work in Joy's favor. But what I would like to see from him is if he can get his um, his upbeat to shark uh, Pong when he goes through those down tilts. I feel like that's going to be just a little bit of counter play, and that's where we're going to see like a lot of mix ups take place. Regardless, trying to get something started with the falling forward into a dash attack, but wow. What can I say? Seeing how well either of these players is going to be able to contest for the platform control, I think is going to be really important because it's giving enough space to give proper landings as needed, but I feel like it's much more claustrophobic. The stage is so well pressed in that it's going to be really difficult for... Okay, oh, so there we no. saw it, Shark, 
but... At what cost, Dara? At what cost? The stock. Beautiful. Oh my god. That was a spot dodge into down tilt crack shoot. I really love it. Um, 93%. Look! The way that he is just playing off of Punk Shield. I love it so much. Like, Trey is so smart with how he swings, but Pong is keeping him constantly adapting. It's just getting it's so difficult to see where the counterplay comes because yeah. everything is just... Uh, it's just so reactionary, so quick. And Pong, unfortunately, misfacing the down tilt. Uh, probably just slightly flicked the wrong direction on the system. And Dre was just a little bit too, like, impatient on the punishing of the neutral. Like, he had the right idea he was going to rush in and with punish it, but that move is so active. You always have to give it that little extra tick that you don't think the move lasts. Good pick up with the neutral air. You can't really punish it. That is incredibly simple. Um, that is going to be the down throw into the upper. Had he connected the upper, that would have certainly confirmed into the crack sheet. The little blip means it is go time. And you know what it means when it's go time? We're going to see Power Geyser and... I think Power Geyser is going to have immense potential to cover space on this stage. Because take note of how if you use it from outwards of center stage, <gasps> you cover everything that's there. But Explosive Flame's covering exactly what Pong needs. As Dre is on notice with the last stock. Dre has to be careful not only of his drift, but he just has to be attentive. He has to keep his eyes centered on Palutena when we cover just to make sure that he can react and then just not get hit by Explosive Flame. That move is giant. You can't contest that. Great patience on the shield. That is the down throw. Trying to maybe read an air dodge. Uh, so, again, like I said, love the patience from Dre. Choosing to play back a little bit with power waves and just mixing up his momentum completely, alternating between power waves and crack shoots. That is, like, dizzying. Yeah, the f Dre is taking full advantage of the fact that Terry is able to cover so much space aggressively because of crack shoot. And the fact that Lilat is, is a naturally smaller that is stage. One up here. Power dunk to reposition himself oh, a little bit closer to the ledge. Is that, that going to be it? Yes. Hong secures his path to Grand Finals. A 3-1 set over Dre. The boys hug it out. And Hong did the unimaginable. Imagine losers round one to finding yourself on loser side grands. That's... With no break in between, just full stop.